Hey there, everyone. That Sexy Nerd is back again. And I got a confession to make, guys. The reason why it took me so long to get onto this, I've never watched the movie Click. <gasps> Sorry, guys. I mean, uh, I don't know. I never got into it. Like, Adam Sandler kind of rubs me the wrong way sometimes. Um, he, I, I, had a, I have a, a good friend of mine who... God uh, bless his heart. He just loves wa showing me uh, really crappy Adam Sandler movies. Zohan. Um, well, actually, I, I don't know. Zohan was okay for some people. I got to say that for people to agree. I don't know. But uh, Billy Madison. Billy Madison of, of like, you know, I, I, I can't stand that movie. It's awful. It, it it completely he, he quotes the movie all the time and it just like gets so way too much it gets way too much so um that uh let's see oh and let's not forget jack and jill which uh i only saw just a little bit of it and i was like yeah before i profusely vomit all over the place i need to save my life my own life so left and that's my boy that one too again could not stand the uh, stand watching a few minutes of it and eventually just change the channel. That one I just saw on TV. I was like, "Hey, let me watch it." I'm like, "Nope." So, me and Adam Sandler don't get a, get along very well. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like more than a share of movies. I'm one of the only people who likes Eight Crazy Nights. I kind of like that movie, even though it's stupid as hell. Um. There are some, like I said, and let's not forget Hotel Transylvania. I do like those movies. And uh, like I said, he is a good actor. Some of them, like 50 First Dates uh, is, is great. But I've also, to be fair, I've also never seen The Wedding Singer as well. I, <laughs> I can quote that, like, you know, the it's because of, of the critic. But yeah, it's Adam Sandler is, I have a love-hate relationship with him. So, you know. Attack me in the comments below if, uh, or, you know, I don't know, before you get that dislike button down, I'm, I'm, this is my way of rectifying it through Nostalgia Critic. So it all balances out eventually. So, um, I don't remember the premise of this movie though. Um, because again, I never saw any of it and I forgot Christopher Walken was in there because I see him on the, uh, on the cover of his, of his thing. And I'm like, oh, Christopher Walken is here. So... Uh, I'm kind of mad that I missed that movie. And I hear, what is it, Beckinsale? Yeah, Kate Beckinsale is also the love interest in this movie. So, you know, again, I really like the Underworld series, no matter how stupid it got. So, you know, uh, I, I should have probably checked out this movie a lot earlier. But, hey, uh, we're here now, so let's get into the episode. And remember, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content. And subscribe if you think I deserve it. And let's get into it, y'all. Hey, Merry Christmas, Bedford Falls! Hey, you, George. What you doing out here in the snow? Uh, Ernie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember me? Of course I remember you, George. Why wouldn't I? Oh, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you, Ernie! Merry Christmas to you, George! Merry Christmas to everyone! <laughs> did, did, did you fart, Ernie? I did, George. Why? Felt right in the moment. Okay, I'm gonna keep my distance from me, Ernie. Merry Christmas, all that, but I'm gonna keep my distance from you. <laughs> Did you need to write that, George? No, no, I know your windows are broken. Merry Christmas, George! Yeah. Merry! George! Oh! It's so good to have you home. Did you punch me in the ball, <laughs> I sure did. Oh, do I need a ring? Uh, uh, oh, look! Oh, good news, George! The town heard you in trouble and they all pitched in! Oh, that's fantastic! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Let's sing a New Year's song! Good idea! Should all acquaintance be forgot? And that dog is humping a duck. Indeed it is. Teacher says every time a dog humps a duck... No teacher should start a sentence that way, honey. This is all wrong. <laughs> what? How? Why? I have so many questions! I have way too many questions. And also I love how his Jimmy Stewart impression sounds like exactly like the cricket from... From Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. You, 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 you're not gonna shoot a puppy, are you, Jack? Yeah, in the face. Why? Okay, pause. 
Oh no, Critic, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry, Morty, I'm just not feeling the magic. <laughs> but the remote control app put you in any movie you wanted. Did it not? Yeah, I wanted to recapture the magic of It's a Wonderful Life, but... It kind of seems like there's a lot of literal shit going on. So, is that it? I, I think I got the premise. Is, is Click a reimagining of It's a Wonderful Life? As told by Adam Sandler? Adam Sandler? Oh man, I should have smoked some weed before this. On too. You dummy! You have it on the Happy Madison setting. <laughs> I do? Yeah, it tries to be charming and emotional, but it's, you know, dumb. Oh, well can I exit out of all this? No. Oh. No. <laughs> well, that sucks. Well, I made a little figure of yourself to make it better. Yeah, I guess that does make being trapped here for all eternity a little better. I love you. What? Bye. You love everyone, Christopher Walken. Uh, maybe Walken. I can change the environment to look like an NC episode. That'll do. Really? If you watch this channel, you know we're no stranger to picking on Adam Sandler movies. But as I've said in the past, I do think he can do some great comedic stuff, and even some great dramatic stuff. 2006 Click is an example of him doing pretty good at the dramatic stuff, but the dumb as hell comedic moments end up sabotaging the majority of it. What? It's a good idea about a guy given a universal remote to literally control the universe. And honestly, I think Sandler could star in this fine. It's the producing part where everything goes to dog dick. No, literally, the biggest running joke in this involves a dog dick. My heart's ready to melt. Well, since we can't use a remote to fast forward the bad stuff and enjoy the good stuff. Well, okay, you can, but y'all are sadists and want to see me suffer. Let's take a look at this in more detail. This is... Say, hey, can you unpause us here, buddy? Oh, shoot, yeah, I almost forgot. Good, because I've got, like, five more farts to let out. Maybe I'll hold off for a bit. That's cool. I already let out three. Kill me. Let's take a look at... Click. <laughs> we open with an architect named Michael, played by Sandler, who, man, must have used that remote already to put himself in a porno. Oh, wait, that's the totally believable wife he has, Donna, played by Kate Beckinsale. Yeah. I love His wife actually is kind of hot, to be fair. Later, they try to point out how clearly out of his league she is. Amazing. She fell for a schlub like you. Wow. You're out of his league, aren't you? As if to say this team up is <clears throat> really rare in these movies. Yeah, right, exactly. No! Father. No, seriously, his wife is actually kind of hot, though. Uh, I hate to be defending Adam Sandler, but if y'all have seen the wrong Missy, the bitchy woman from there is his wife. Ask me what. Do you think you'll have time to finish building the treehouse ever? What's up that with that? didn't need a take two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at Sunday and Cecil is dumb. <laughs> if that didn't get a laugh out of you, don't worry, they have like eight more attempts at it. God, I'll really? I'll kind of the swim mate. Swim mate. Yes. I'm kidding you, I'll be there. Good thing I've never seen a movie in my life. So the outcome of this is going to be really surprising. You're going to run oh, over that dog. Cameo. Cameron Monaghan is the bratty next door neighbor in this. If only DCEU had James Gunn knew this hey! earlier, he totally would have factored in a Joker prequel. Look at my that. father's stereo is a boat. Your father's stereo blows? I said... Shameless! Well, it just feels like a normal director set up, and then for whatever reason, Tommy Wiseau came in to direct the punchline. He's late for a meeting with his boss, played by David Hasselhoff. And oh boy, ethnic people! Let's play which one is Rob Schneider. There he uh. is. Just like that, prince. It looks good though. Now try to figure out which one is Drew Barrymore. Uh. And put big drain in floor for a t-shirt contest. I love how half of Schneider's performances are those disclaimers before racist cartoons saying, "Here's why this wasn't that big a thing back then." I meant no disrespect, Prince Hubbada Hubbada. Hubba Bubba. How people! How people! How dare you mock the nationality of a white SNL star in brown face? Do you watch the movies you write? No. As you'd imagine, this causes Michael to be late for his son's swim meet, resulting in him cheering for the wrong kid. You know my dad? As far as you know. Is it really my dad? Typical reaction to discovering any Adam Sandler character is your father. Huh. What? Wanna see what makes me cry? Nobody goes drowning in my pool. Oh! Do this, Sam. <laughs> John Aston plays Bill the Swim Coach, a more supportive father character who played this role much better when he was Carrie Elway's in Liar Liar. Dad, oh, yeah. How long are you can live? I told you, stop reading reviews of my movies. Henry Winkler plays Michael's father, who loves thinking nobody knows how his magic coin trick works, despite Michael catching on to it years ago. How do you do that? A good magician never reveals his secrets. Like how these films cost millions, yet they look like a nostalgia critic review. 
They did. Reach for the sky, Pocahontas. No, Pocahontas is off duty. No, really, in a Sandler movie, that could be Pocahontas. Ooh, I watched this documentary on Asian architecture. I'm gonna have Rob Schneider play all the Asians. As you guess, Michael is too busy to spend time with his kids and even ends up accidentally breaking their toys. No! Oh, wow! A few more times. <laughs> That playing on a loop in my head will help me get through this easier. <laughs> he goes to get a product placement in a Sandler flick. Bed Bath uh, & Beyond. He goes to the Beyond section of the store, which, yes, is a joke from Family Guy. Seriously. But they stole a ton, so it bounces out. Really? And he's an inventor named Morty. Played by everyone's favorite something trying to be human, Christopher Walken. <laughs> not it's not in the barcode system not yet. Not the barcode so system. I have to just give it to you. Like everyone else in this, he says everything off, but he's the only actor who weirdly gets better the worse he is. Also, you swear nothing he says is actually from the script. Something stinks like stale french fries. He just said that and refused to say the real line. <laughs> Theo Doyle's remote can bite my advanced technological ass. Uh, Theo Doyle's, but they can bite it hard. He's the kind of guy you're sure would kill your neighbor if you just winked at him, right? Not entirely sure he wouldn't kill me. He gives him a universal control that, as you'd expect, alters reality. Is Christopher oh, Walken God? Man, uh, you want me to take my shirt I off? I knew it! Uh, I should just do a count of Walken moments uh, trying to band-aid this movie. He gets home and figures out quickly the remote is for his life and not his TV. Would you really think you're gonna have any more time for us, or are things just gonna get even more out of control? Wait, well leaves about as much impact as when she's not on pause. Oh, and there we go. Still has more chemistry than most Sandler rom-coms. Still has more, still a better love story than Twilight. Holy motherfucker! Ooh, I must be watching the YouTube edit. The next morning, Donna's friend Janie comes over, played by Jennifer Coolidge before White Lotus, so, you know, nobody put any effort into her character. Donna and I are going to the gym, and all the guys are going to be hitting on us. <laughs> to be fair... I don't know how to react to that. Go to the next scene. Just the <laughs> menu. On the remote? No, the menu with the red lobster. Yes, on the remote. <laughs> uh, what are you even looking at? Product placement lines he pulls off. What was he looking at? Yes, on the remote. Uh, what is he looking product at? Product placement lines he pulls off. <laughs> what are you still looking at? <laughs> That's how I believe Walken would react to the entire world disappearing around him. <laughs> Complete <laughs> difference. Seriously? Michael was eagerly awaiting the arrival of his lunch order. Was that James Earl Jones? No, it's his AI. I was replaced with one a while ago. He finds he's even able to rewind uh, to old memory. Uh, like when Winkler had so much de-aging makeup on, he became Carrot Top Barbie. Ah, this is where the quarter trick started. It's a trick coin you buy at a magic shop. Thus the idea for cryptocurrency was created. <laughs> he takes the remote to his workplace where we see a typical Quentin Tarantino casting call. I think Stacy, it's the most beautiful feat award. And he's told he'll make partner if he comes through on all his duties. If you need female companionship this weekend, my wife's friend Janine, she will eat you up, sir. Everyone in this movie looks like they're gonna have a Netflix crime documentary about them. <laughs> I will admit this bit of Michael getting revenge on his neighbor mocking his son is pretty great. Oh. Come on, he can take it. He's gotten through worse. Uh, oh, oh hey, oh God. <laughs> Okay, you could have said anything, any horrible ass thing from Shameless, but you had to go with Order 66. You emotionally gut punched me there. <laughs> Dog humping joke. Will you stop Why? already? Why do you think the audience would not be as annoyed as you right now? Sir he discovers a mode to skip past all the hardships called and autopilot. You're still holding it. That's you on autopilot. Mm -hmm. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Oh, it's how he produces his movies. Yeah. Case in point, when he's told Donna's way out of his league, he looks at some of the women he used to date and, oh no, they're not hot. That's a joke, they're just not hot. When you start saying Deuce Bigelow handled it better, you might not be on the a of games. He starts using yeah. autopilot to skip all the inconveniences in his life. Oh, showered and dressed and looking sexy. Did you smoke crack, Daddy? Do you know the show he used to be a part of? Every once in a while, there is a good joke, <laughs> like Terry Crews randomly playing this guy singing a song in the most Terry Crews way. Okay, yeah. He's that's... acting like he's gonna BJ from a Pokemon. He always gives a million percent, doesn't yeah, he? Seriously, <laughs> God bless Terry Crews. Then we Cruz. get several lame singers in a row. Oh, look.
Look at you now, you're all yellow from the scurvy. Arr, Captain. Admittedly, there are worse jokes you could have done with that, but Rob Schneider wasn't around the plane. <laughs> I love And also, not only that, you could have just said that you're that old yellow bastard from Sin City. Never mind. N never mind. Love you, you love me. Ah! Dogger had giant boobies. If you've seen what Barney is up to nowadays, that's not such a far-fetched lyric. Don't get the Hulk angry. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this stupid <laughs> joke. Hmm, this annoying scene or two and a half hours of that? I'll take these. Uh, yeah, take that. Just take that. All right, all right, no. everybody. It's sexual harassment speech day. Mm. This ought to be rich. Anyone can be a victim of sexual harassment. <laughs> Even the office slut. <laughs> what? I know you. Hey. Yikes. Do you know anything about wine? Wine is fine, but whiskey is quicker. Suicide is slow with liquor. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Don't I ever see Adam Sandler and Michael Bay in the same room? I was engaged in sexual harassment. Hilarious! Sexual harassment, if you ask me! <laughs> Whenever the Weinstein Company was told women are people, this played on a constant loop in their heads. He goes to a meeting to show off some new designs to new clients. Michael hears what they're saying about his architecture after some more forced product placement. We can get out of here and do jello shots at America's greatest cultural achievement. TGI Fridays! TGI Fridays! TGI Fridays! TGI Fridays. You don't cheer TGI Fridays, you accept that it's the only place open. And he changes his plans to their liking. We can get the hell out of this dump, go to a TGI Fridays. And that's what I'm talking about! Oh. Oh. Have you seen their potato skins? It's the literal definition of, I paid for it, I should eat it. <laughs> no, TGI Fridays is awesome. Ugh. Don't eat the potato skins every time. Michael thinks the promotion is as good as his, so he spends a ton of money on gifts. Oh, when he no. goes back to work, though, he finds his boss is backing out. Good thing Sandler always has a fart ready to go. I swear this is another scene that's done just so people can caption it. Here's what I came up with, but you're welcome to add your own. Here's the natural dialogue for you. Have you considered the concept? I'm sorry, where are all these dramatic scenes that were supposed to be done? Because all I see is a lot of crap. Except for Christopher Walken and Kate Beckinsale looking absolutely gorgeous. But that's it! Dog humping is getting on my nerves. Consequences of the thing you're thinking about doing. Have you thought about the actions of doing the thing with the actions you're about to do? Michael says he wants to fast forward several months until he gets his promotion, but Morty reminds him of Lucky from Lucky Charms. But you're surprised? He's always chasing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but when he gets there, it's just cornflakes. I have literally never seen a Lucky Charms commercial with that premise. I know that's a nitpick, but look at this guy. He clearly knows his serial lore. When it gets there, it's just cornflakes. No, they're not. They're Cheerios with microwave circus peanuts. Everybody knows that. Michael it's takes not. the chance and misses a whole year as that's how long it took to get promoted. I kind of love how bad it looks when he discovers his assistant transitioned into Daniel Radcliffe. Because a lot of people went that route. And that's what seems to piss him off the most. No. <laughs> no. What? No! There's so many other poorly aged jokes I could have made about this! In fact, the remote keeps jumping forward in time to skip anything he originally set to autopilot, which oh. was quite a lot. Thank God the dog humping joke wasn't set on that, though. Is that duck one of your kids? Why does he have so much screen time? Yes. Yeah. That's a normal reaction to seeing walking anywhere. <laughs> fast forwarded through sex one time. You fast forwarded through an entire year. That's a lot of sex. It's like 30 minutes worth for you. Uh, uh, Tries to get rid of the remote, but it keeps appearing in various places. I wouldn't do that if I were you. There's only one place left for it to pop up. I think it's the same spot Blended came from. Uh. The remote takes him to when he's promoted again as CEO of the company. Okay, 2006, your effects weren't this bad. Oh my god, I'm a fat guy! That is so bad. Titties. <laughs> Juicy titties! 
It looks like an AI image generator put together a Mario porno starring Jon Favreau. Uh, also, no disrespect to Sandler, but since you're making so many fat jokes, you're not the skinniest guy. This would be like Steven Seagal making fun of Brendan Fraser in The Whale. You know, you just know, right? This is 1010 Wins News, February 5th, 2017. Well, see how well these jokes aged. Wow. Britney Spears had her 23rd baby today. Bad. Kevin Federline says he's now considering getting a job. Who? <laughs> Michael Jackson. Really bad. You didn't even have to finish. Also, <laughs> does somebody slap Sailor in his fat suit before shooting? Oh, wait, it's 2017. Anyone who saw Jack and Jill did. Yes. Here's another weird cameo. Jonah Hill as his son. Maybe if you would take me like to Pilates like you said you would, people wouldn't think I was Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get boobs? As a comedian who specializes in making fourth graders laugh, I pay attention to opportunities to say the word boobs. The worst case this one's sell. got the duck doing all the work. Okay, it's the one time you made that joke work. <laughs> Michael discovers him and Don are divorced, and she's now going out with Bill. Uh... Baby! Why did you do this to me? Christ, he sounds like Al Pacino choking on ho-hos. Didn't I say he did the dramatic parts well? <laughs> Only an hour 14 in, and we finally start the good movie. The remote skips him forward to, get this, 2023. Oh! And to the film's credit, they kind of did a good job predicting how it was going to look. It's not exact, like hospitals don't quite look this fancy, but yeah. eh, he's rich. Maybe that's how the ones from Millionaires look. No, mm. it skipped all my sickness. We find he had cancer they had to operate on, which results in a lot of leftover fat. Yeah, okay, I know I said the fat jokes are getting old, but some of them do make me chuckle. Mm. And the film suddenly, almost out of nowhere, becomes crazy dramatic. What? His son is now portrayed by Jake Hoffman, who plays it really straight and really convincing. When he reveals that Michael's father died, Sandler also really lays on the drama, and they both share a really emotional moment. What? Where's my next meeting? No, no, do your meeting. It's fine. Why I'm are just you dizzy, why are you I'm dizzy from the operation. You're right. gonna make me cry, Dad. Okay. <laughs> he visits his grave to see he died in 2021. Whoa. Oh my God! Oh, that freaked me out. That freaked me out right now. Ooh. Oh, boy. What's so the last time he saw him yelling at him, saying he always knew how the coin trick worked? Bob. Bob. No. This, this scene is legitimately <laughs> depressing. It's done incredibly well, really takes advantage of what they can do with the remote in terms of drama. And by God, these actors are giving their all to make you cry, and it legit works. I love you, son. I love you, son. Yeah, a little Ooh. over an hour of fart jokes, dog humping, white people pretending they're not white people, and suddenly this emotional powerhouse right out of nowhere. It's like watching Waterboy and then suddenly being told, surprise, you're watching the opening of Up. Oh Where was this movie the whole time? I'm sorry about your father. I will say it's maybe the one time Watkins' presence doesn't help as, bizarrely, he lets this drop. Angel Michael. I thought an angel was supposed to protect I thought he was. I'm the angel of death. <laughs> what? Bastard. Uh, I, okay, I guess if we're going for this dark turn, we can do that. But here's the thing, it never comes back! He goes right back to being his friend again at the end, and never brings up that he's deaf. We have no idea if he's serious or lying to him. It'd be like if in A Wonderful Life, Clarence suddenly said, You know I'm the devil. What? Merry Christmas! Oh, oh, Merry Christmas. Hail Satan. <laughs> Skip forward again to his son getting married. By the Twin Freedom Towers? Ooh. Get on it? Where we see the lead singer of the Cranberries is singing. Yeah, I'm getting more and more depressed the more I compare this to reality. It's terrible. Michael and Donna share a dance despite not being together anymore. Again, this all plays really well. Michael, are you okay? But he yeah. falls ill and wakes up in the hospital, mm -hmm. finding out that his son is gonna skip his honeymoon. Kensington deal might be falling through, so I gotta go do damage control. Michael tries to tell him to go on the trip as family is more important. Isn't that Colin Farrell? Where? Ah, oh, that classic acknowledging Colin Farrell exists gag. Let me try it. Ha! Ah, he exists! Works every time. Dude! Call him! No! Out into the rain, literally in his final press, and tells him that family is the most important and dies in the street. 
It's a little melodramatic, but I think no, it still works. No, you! Also, I do giggle when he does this to Bill. <laughs> but even then, they have to smooth it over. It knows it has to be a heartfelt scene, and that's what comes across. As you may have deduced, though, he wakes up back in the store and is given a second chance. Oh, oh my good lord! Merry Christmas, you beautiful McDonald's, you! I mean, here I am, staying up all night, killing myself for a 4th of July camping trip, but you won't let me think! What did you just say? I said I'm doubling your salary! Another Christmas cliches in this ironically not Christmas movie! Oh, and Sundance! Oh, that's the dog's name? Really? I guess it's the closest to Sundance he'll ever get. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. I bet you didn't see this coming. I know just where to find oh, the answers. Like when you put together, this was all Sandler's reboot of Baby Huey. <laughs> And that was Click, and you know, I'm reminded of a saying. You can fake being serious, but you can't fake being funny. For whatever reason, the serious parts of this movie are done really effectively. Really? And the comedy, which let's face it, should have written itself, really falls flat. So it's rough. I do want to recommend this film just for people to see the last third, but you have to wait through so many annoying jokes to get there. Maybe you won't mind them as much, and you'll be able to ride them through and get to the real poignant stuff. But for me, it was just too obnoxious to say it worked as a whole. Mm. But what do you think? Is it worth waiting to the end? Do you think it works fine even before the last third? Or maybe you're someone that thinks the last third ruins it. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you the next time you tune in. Mm. I'm a nostalgia critic, I remit. <laughs> Still got some of those farts saved up, Ernie? You know it! Wait, can you do it dressed as Elsa? What? I think he said, can you do it dressed as Elsa? I guess, but what difference would that make? Elsa Gate! Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm still kind of shocked at that little reveal right there that COVID might have. I, I know it, it was a little overdramatic of me to do that, but. That's way too much of a coincidence right there. That is way too much. There was way too many creepy-ass coincidences that they did in 2021. I mean, in, in, in that. That's... Wow. Ugh. Wow. That just completely shocked me. And... Oh. But, hey, what, what are we going to do? Um... Yeah, I, I kind of want to watch the movie now, but I, at the end of the day, too, it's it's just, it, it, like, I can't take Adam Sandler's comedy when it's bad. I can't. I just cannot. Um, and yeah, wh wh what the hell is up with the dog? Uh, wow. I, again, but the end of the movie, like, as soon as, like, the serious parts begin and it's just a recreation of the, if It's a Wonderful Life, it's really effective. And... Yeah, I, again, I, I kind of want to watch it just for that. So, not much to say, but yeah, I've never seen the movie, so maybe I'll change that. So, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I'll see you on the next episode.